Hi, I'm Anthony from City Backyard Veggies. Um, out in the patch today, I need to do a bit of work on my cucumbers. Now this, in my last video I showed um, everyone how I was just starting to harvest my first um, cucumbers of these plants, but now they're in full swing. So I'm gonna go through, do a bit of trellising, harvest some more fruit, and just do some general care and maintenance to these plants to keep them going and try to keep any pests and diseases at bay. So this is my second planting of cucumbers. These were planted as seedlings in early December. So they're about six weeks in the ground now. Um, and I, will, I've, I posted a video of when I planted these out and I'll put something in the description notes for you as a link to these videos. Now this variety is called Craig and it's a greenhouse variety in the sense that it only puts out female flowers as you can just see there. And so this makes this plant, these, this variety really prolific. They do produce a lot and I have been harvesting a fair few over the last two or three weeks. Now, I've been training them along the string trellis as you can see here. And now I reach in the top of the trellis now so I need to do an extension on this trellis system. Um, but first I'm going to come through and harvest all the cucumbers that I can find. I'll then install my trellis, uh, my um, extension at the top. Then I'll um, just do some general maintenance and show you what to look out for um, in terms of pest pressure and insect damage. So first things first, I'm going to come through and harvest um, the crop. Just harvesting uh, things in the mouth. These haven't been these haven't been harvested for a while, so I am finding a for a few days. So I am finding a few larger ones, which are unfortunate. I do tend to like to harvest them a bit smaller, but I'll bring you closer and show you the sizes that I like to harvest them at. Just coming through. Um, so this is ideally the size I would like to harvest them at. So I just pinch up the top. It's not overly large. Uh, I find this variety. Um, it doesn't take long for it to go um, seedy so you want to try to harvest a bit smaller i like to try to get them if i can this old ideally this is probably just a little early but this will be nice much sweeter so i'll harvest that now what i don't like is when they go to this size when you start seeing them bulk up a little bit more as you can see it's just a bit fatter than that one that means it's starting to get a bit too far beyond its prime um, but yeah, let's just gonna continue through, see if I can find them. And while I'm going, I'm gonna check that, continuing to train the vines around the strings as well. So it just started raining now, and it's just now the rain's held off just long enough for me to finish off harvesting those cucumbers and I've just harvested a, a decent uh, container load full um, these are still doing pretty well uh, that warm weather and the humidity helps these cucumbers along but also I start struggling with powdery mildew and also start struggling a lot more with insect pressure cucumbers uh, I'm gonna go wash them now take them inside and I will hand them out to family and friends um, I won't be pickling these but you know, we will go through these cucumbers no problem. Uh, but I am still seeing a lot of fruit on these ones, so hopefully they can hold off for at least another two months in time for the third batch of cucumbers to come online. But I'm gonna bring you over now and show you what, I've, what else I'm gonna be doing on these cucumber plants. So I had to postpone my work on these cucumbers until the next day because it started raining after I, I harvested the fruit. But a little break in the weather now I'm going to go and continue working on these cucumbers what I'm going to do is actually most of my cucumbers as you can see just over here have hit the top of the of the trellis so what I'm going to do here now is actually get some mesh and lay the mesh across the top and the idea is is then that these vines will then climb through the mesh and just sprawl across the top of the top of the structure so I've got a few um, old sheets of mesh that I've been keeping around um, and using it for this purpose exactly. And what I'm going to do is install the mesh across the top and fix it down with cable ties. And once that's done, I'll start training the vines through that mesh. I'm going to go through that, do that now. 
So now that I've added my my mesh, I'm going to train these cucumber vines through the mesh and so that it can start climbing across the top. But so I'm going to do is just gently without breaking it, just feed feed the cucumber vine through that, and that's now done. Now this as this grows, I'll continue training it and it should eventually uh, just sprawl across the top of the mesh and that will be it. And then as the fruit forms, it will form at the top, making it still easy to harvest. Continue on and see, continue on training the rest of these uh, vines through this mesh as well. So now I've finished trellising and uh, training those vines. Now I'm just going to do a final check on the plants and what I am noticing is the first signs of powdery mildew forming up on a lot of the lower leaves. Uh, it's been really humid and really wet in Sydney over the last month and you know with all, with all plants from the cucumber family, all whether it's zucchini, pumpkins or cucumbers, they all struggle from powdery mildew. I'm also seeing a little bit of what appears to be thrip damage. Um, I, the way I see thrip damage is where you see signs of uh, browning on the leaves and it starts forming a hole. That's a sign of thrips. So to, to combat these two common pests and diseases that I get in my cucumbers, uh, for the powdery mildew, I use copper oxychloride. Um, I mix this up and spray it once, once a fortnight. Um, and I make sure I coat all the leaves both above and below the leaves and it does a lot to hold off the uh, powdery mildew coming through. Now you can also use something like uh, milk solutions which have worked for me in the past but I prefer uh, to use copper oxychloride. Uh, the key is though to control uh, mildew is you want to use the spray as a preventative rather than a cure. If you do have some powdery mildew showing, I would suggest that you remove those leaves that are damaged, that are that show the disease, and then give it a spray so that the new growth doesn't get infected by it. Uh, for thrips, uh, I'm a big believer in using pyrethrum. Again, when I do spray my copper solution, I mix it with a little bit of pow um, pyrethrum, and I give that a spray as well, and that does generally treat most insects including caterpillars but specifically in these cases I'm trying to treat the thrips now once every week to a two weeks is plenty uh, but besides that uh, some more general uh, maintenance I did add and in a previous video I showed this I did add uh, fertilizer to these in terms of a bit of chicken manure pellets and a bit of potash uh, in next week I will add another round uh, as long as they're producing well they're still doing well I will continue adding uh, fertilizer to them in that every monthly range, for every four weeks. So I'm going to come, I'm expecting these to keep going until about March, uh, but with the hot, humid weather, struggling, you are, you are, we will struggle a lot more with pests and diseases now than say my first planting that was done at this, um, earlier in spring. But they're looking great. Uh, this variety is a great variety. I'm happy to keep, continue growing it. And hopefully I can keep them going for the next few months to keep the, um, the harvest coming. So just as an update to my cucumber plantings, I've just, it's been a week since I installed this mesh. And as you can see, the vines have all come through and grown through that mesh and are now sprawling across the top. Um, there is still a lot of fruit showing up, but um, the disease is progressively moving through the planting. Now, that's this time of the, um, time of the year for it so I, I will continue to try to maintain and remove a lot of that damaged leaves but uh, I'm expecting these will be done in another four four to five weeks and then I'll move on to my third planting um, yeah but besides that they're looking okay and they're producing quite well at the moment so thank you very much everyone for joining me in this video I really appreciate all the support um, and I hope to see you in the next one